Well hey, Nathan Davis back again. Today we're going to go even deeper. We're going to talk about 12 and 21 and all sorts of things. So, here we go. December 21st, 2012 at 1111 Universal Time. This was like the exact moment that the Mayan calendar ended and started over. And it just also happened to be the exact moment of the winter solstice of that year. Now check this out. You can add all of these together because the slash uh, it looks an awful lot like a 1. So 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. And 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. Okay, so you got that. Now check this out. 12 and 21 are both divisible by 3. Right, let's see. Um, 12 is 4, 4, 4. 21 is 7, 7, 7. So I like that. And I'll go ahead and uh, interject that the seventh letter of the alphabet is G and the fourth is D. And oh, I'm one letter shy of my initials, Nathan Garrett Davis. All right, now check this out. I thought this was awesome. Uh, I liked December 21st because. Uh, the 21 is kind of like a mirror of the 12. And I even made it a big deal on my computer, you know, did a cool background and everything. And then one night, I walked into the kitchen, and guess what I saw? I saw the clock read 12.51. And I was just like, whoa, that's amazing! I really liked it. So 2 and 5 are mirrors like that. That's nice, I like that. And uh, I was working on GarageBand, and I noticed that the way they do their twos, they look like upside down fives. Isn't that neat? I like that a lot. So watch this. I look at 1221, and eventually I see 1551 throughout the day. And I'm like, oh cool, I like that. That also happened to be uh, my neighbor's address when I was living with my grandparents. So let's keep going. What's the difference between 12 and 21? It's 9. How about that? And uh, while we're on the subject, uh, 9 and 6 are like the same number. So you can. Uh, pretty much do a reflection there. You can flip all these numbers upside down. Yeah, you like that? I love that. Alright, now watch this. I'm gonna get fancy on you. I'm gonna take the 129 and then add the 651 behind it. And I was utterly shocked when I found this. Life is like what it's all about, right? It's what we're all living. Now watch this. L is the twelfth letter of the alphabet. I is the ninth letter of the alphabet. F is the sixth. And E is the fifth. Wow. How about that? And while we're on the subject of flipping numbers upside down, let's, let's just look at all the numbers here. Zero definitely flips upside down and becomes the same number. 1 becomes the same number. 2 becomes a 5. 3 is the same. 4 doesn't really become any other number. And yeah, no, that one doesn't work. 5 becomes a 2. 6 becomes a 9. 7 doesn't really, doesn't really flip. 8 does. And 9 becomes a 6. So wouldn't you know, that 4 and 7 are the only two numbers that don't flip. Okay, now let me tell you some more about 12, 9, 21. This is the Rubik's Cube. It's one of my favorite toys. Uh, check this out. Do you know how many pieces are contained within this toy? Well, I'll tell you. There are 12 edge pieces, the two color, and there are 8 corner pieces with the three colors plus the one centerpiece. All the centers are connected in one piece. So, <laughs> groups of two colors and three colors. There are 12 edge pieces 
and nine other pieces. And it really makes the most sense when you look at it like this. For a total of 21 pieces. If you haven't played The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, you simply have to do that. It's the best video game ever. Uh, I loved it so much that I had to get me the Ocarina of Time. Uh, this replica here. Now, check this out. There are... Well, let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 holes in this instrument. And wouldn't you know that it plays 21 notes. And if you were to play one octave scales on this, you would only be able to play 9 one octave scales. 12 holes, 21 notes, 9 scales. The approach I took to learning how to play Mortal Kombat was to pick a character and flashcard all his moves. I figured that would be the best way to get good at the game, is to kind of know what your character can do and then work from there. Uh, so I picked Liu Kang, and would you believe it, he's got 78 moves. And let's take a closer look at his name. Uh, Liu Kang, L's the 12th, I's the 9th, use the 21st. Alright, finally brought the Bible out. So check this out. Romans, chapter 12, verses, can you see this? 9 through 21. I'll just go ahead and read it to you. Love. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with God's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Bring down a little more. Here we go. Uh, do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everybody. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, It is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. And finally, the greatest verse in the entire Bible, as far as I'm concerned, is Romans chapter 12, verse 21. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Wow. Okay, and now finally, I'm going to connect 815 and 1221 in the Bible. Here we go. Romans. Can you see that? Romans, chapter 8, verse 15. Let's see if I can focus. For you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave again to fear, but you received the spirit of sonship, and by him we cry, Abba, which means Father. Oh, yeah. So there you have it. Now I'm going to show you something about the Holy Bible. Watch this. H is the 8th. O is the 15th, L is the 12th, Y is the 25th. Do you recognize that? Do you recognize 1225? That's Christmas Day. That's pretty neat. Alright, Bible, B is 2, I is 9, B is 2, L is 12, and E is 5. Now, I don't know about you, but the first thing that kind of pops out to me is all this is missing is a 1 to have 12, 9, 21. And then over here, all this is missing is a 1 to make 12, 51. Isn't that cool? And finally, who came up with the December 21st thing anyway? It was the mines. We got 13, 1. 25, 1, 14. Whoa, 12.51 shows up. So we got 12, 13, 14, and a backwards 15 right there. Wow, it's a lot to take in, I know. But there's more, so look forward to it.